Hey, everybody. So this is going to be part two. Um, we're not going to start right out with column yet, but we're just going to kind of go over the functionality of Mojo. So like I said before, this is a triple line dialer. I use it because I like it. There's other tools out there. Um, we're just going to start from the bottom up. You have your log out help. You have any questions, throw them in here. There's webinars. There's the support portal itself. Um, you can just throw your questions in there. Uh, I haven't needed to use it too much. A lot of times Google and YouTube will have the answers and that's part of why I'm throwing this video out there. Refer a friend. Hey, if you've got anybody else that wants to use the dialer, go ahead and share it with them. You can get a $50 credit just for referring them. There's a hiccup with it though. If you send this referral out, which you can see I sent one out here to Leslie, she signed up underneath a different email address. So I didn't get the credit when I sent this out to her. That's when I learned about it. So, hey, it's great. I use it. I promote it because it's a product that I like, not because I'm getting incentivized. If they had a better affiliate program, then I'd send out some links saying, hey, use this product and then I get paid for it. Um, yeah. So inside here, you also have your profile, your billing, your agents and your subscriptions that you're paying for. All right. Um, coming up to getting started. They have some quick getting started videos in here, some knowledge based stuff. So you can go through that as well. They are working on updating these, which is great. All right, integrations. So I use KV Core, I've used Chime, which is now Lofty. I've used Boomtown before. Boomtown has a direct integration, but if any of you guys are familiar with Zapier, you can use API Nation or Zapier to connect stuff. So like here's KW's command, um, Go High Level has a direct integration with it. Chime has a direct integration, Follow Up Boss. But if you just come over to Zapier, through Zapier, you have Inside Real Estate, which is KB Core. So whatever CRM you're using, whether it's through API Nation or Zapier, you're going to be able to sync it up with here. All right. Insider settings. Um, we already went over setting up the cell phones. Uh, whitelist submitted, processed, whitelisted, and whitelist rejected. Hey, I'm colorblind, so I don't know what all these are. I just know that I'm good. All right, inside here, you also have your callback messages. So I have my expired callback. I have um, this one. So what a callback message is, is if you're calling on three lines at once and line one picks up and you're talking to them, then line two picks up, you need to have something there. So let's just say I'm talking to Jane Doe and called John Doe at the same time. John picks up the phone. John, Joe Grant, hey, what? Hey, you know, I think I have, I can't hear you. Maybe it's my connection. Let me restart my phone. I'll call back and I hang up the phone. And then what will happen is when I'm done talking to Jane on the phone, it's going to call back and it's actually going to tell me on my dialer that I'm calling back. So it's like, John, can you hear me better this time? Hey, Joe Grant, EXP Realty, how you doing today? And we just go right into it. Drop voice message, depending on what you're doing. When I, I have a voice message drop that I do for notice of defaults for expires and distressed properties, pretty much nothing else am I going to drop a voice message for. And I don't even drop the expired often until it's like the third call that I've made. All right. Dialer settings, set your time zone. Um, you, at least here in Virginia and the FCC, I can't legally call before 8 a.m. So I literally have it set up to call guard me. So I can't call outside of that time. Um, email, you can email through here. I've tried it, I'm not a super fan of it. I like using Outlook because I can BCC a ton of people at once. Um, you set up your signature block, how you want it to read out for yourself. Um, you can do mailers through here. I've never used it personally. I print stuff out and do it myself. You can set up scripts. Um, Inside the little box, you'll see that it's like, hey, I've got a script here. I've got another script here. I've got another script here. I've got another script here. I got another script here. I have my scripts internalized and memorized, but I still keep them printed out or I'll pull them up on the computer. If you pull them up inside Mojo, it's going to parse it on the screen. It's not the most attractive thing. Um, here's your DNC and stuff. All this stuff, it automatically scrubs. So I don't really have to concern myself with it. I'm not going into account. We were just in settings. And connectivity, that's just your connectivity. 
All right, so in the lead store, here's the prices. Um, what's great about Mojo is they're pretty transparent and they're pretty competitive. Um, you'll find Red X is always running specials. So, hey, if you want to sign up with Red X, you can find a special. Once the special's done, then you go to their normal pricing. I've never seen Mojo run specials because they have some really great pricing. Um, the products that I use through Mojo is I was using Expired. I'm getting ready to start that one back up now that Expired are coming back into my market. Neighborhood Search, I was using PropStream. I'm getting ready to shift that back over to Mojo again. Um, I have never used skip tracing through Mojo. I've never used Furbo and Fizbo um, for sale by owner, for rent by owner. And the pre-foreclosure list, you know, everybody does it a different way. I manually do it. One day I'll actually sell my process. Right now I'm not doing that. The reports, this is what you've done. You can pull them there. That's great for leaders. Calendar, you can sync your calendar. But here's the meat and potatoes. All the properties come into here. Those are actives. Corporate owns, I move those out of there. Canceled, expires. I move these into a different list. So these are great to leave them here when you're on a team um, and leave them there. I actually shift everything into my call lists. I have agents. I have distressed. I have notice of defaults. Um, I shift the land ones into lands. I've got expired. We have the extendeds. We have the Hampton Roads. I have my withdrawals, which I'm going to start putting those into the same ones. Then on groups. I have recruiting ones, I have follow-ups, I have KB course sync ones, I have hot lead ones. So it just really depends on what you're doing and where you're calling. So next time we shoot another video, it will actually be on using the dialer itself. All right, have a great day.